Welcome to the next part of the module, which presents an example that shows how the Java concurrency mechanisms covered earlier can be used to synchronize and schedule the behavior of a multi-threaded program. Although previous parts of this module have shown how Java synchronization and scheduling classes are used in production Android software, these examples have just shown snippets of code. Therefore, this part analyzes the design of a pattern-oriented framework that's then customized and implemented in the next part to create two Java threads that alternate printing ping and pong on the computer console. The ping pong program presented earlier lacked proper concurrency control, so its output was incorrect. In contrast, the example we analyze now works correctly since it coordinates thread interactions via Java synchronizers, such as semaphores, condition objects, and countdown latches. In addition to outlining the object-oriented design of this synchronized ping pong program, this part shows how the application of gang of four patterns, such as template method, strategy, and factory method, provide several benefits. In particular, these patterns make both the framework and the resulting ping pong program more reusable, flexible, and portable. Although we focus on a Java console application again, this framework makes it easy to port our solution to Android after we discuss its user interface threading model later in this section. The ping pong program is structured using an object oriented design, consisting of a number of classes associated with each other via inheritance and containment relationships, as shown in this UML class diagram. This UML sequence diagram depicts the flow of control between the key classes in the program. The main entry point method creates and starts a thread that's passed an instance of the play ping pong runnable implementation. The run hook method of play ping pong creates and starts two ping pong thread objects. The run hook methods in these objects are template methods that implement the ping pong algorithm concurrently using a pair of synchronizers, which can either be Java semaphores or condition objects. These synchronizers control the order in which the threads alternate printing ping and pong via the configured platform strategy, which factors out all the platform dependent output and synchronization operations so the play ping pong code will execute without change in multiple runtime environments. It also contains a countdown latch that's used to wait for the two ping pong threads to exit. Extending this program is relatively straightforward, since it's based on a framework whose design is guided by several gang of four patterns, as discussed next. Before analyzing the implementation of the object-oriented framework and application code for the concurrent ping pong program in detail, we'll outline its pattern-oriented software architecture which applies three gang of four patterns to guide the design of its classes and enhance certain software quality attributes. For example, we want our solution to maximize systematic software reuse, which involves intentionally creating or acquiring reusable assets and then consistently using and evolving them to obtain a high degree of reuse, thereby optimizing the ability to produce quality software products rapidly and effectively, as discussed in an earlier video. To achieve this attribute, we use the template method pattern, which provides a skeleton of an algorithm in a method, deferring some steps to subclasses, as described at this link. The ping pong program applies this pattern to implement the ping pong algorithm once in the run template method defined in the ping pong thread base class, shown on this slide. Subclasses then override the acquire and release hook methods, which play the role of primitive operations in the template method pattern. These methods alternate the printing of ping and pong by a different synchronization and scheduling mechanisms, such as the ping pong thread sema subclass that uses Java semaphores, as discussed in the next video. This pattern maximizes algorithm reuse in the ping pong threads run method while making it easy to change policies and mechanisms, such as replacing the use of semaphores with condition objects and supporting more sophisticated alternation behavior without changing the underlying ping pong algorithm itself also shown in the next video. Another software quality attribute we want to maximize in our object-oriented ping pong program design is portability, which enables the same implementation to be applied in different operating environments, thereby increasing the potential user base and market size, as described at this link. To achieve this attribute, we use the strategy pattern, which defines a family of algorithms encapsulates each one, and makes them interchangeable 
to let clients and algorithms vary independently, as described at this link. The ping pong program applies this pattern to define a platform strategy class hierarchy that factors out different ways of printing ping and pong and coordinating the completion of printing operations on different runtime platforms, such as a Java console application versus an Android application. For example, the platform strategy begin method initializes the countdown latch to account for two threads. This method works the same on both console and Android applications. Conversely, the console platform strategy print method calls the Java system print line method, which writes the output string to the console window. In contrast, the Android platform strategy print method creates a runnable, whose run hook method writes a string to a text view and then queues this runnable on the user interface thread's looper queue, since Android only allows the user interface thread to write to the display. Likewise, the platform strategy done method is implemented differently in an Android application versus a console application, though the countdown latch countdown method is used on both platforms. The await done method implementation is the same on both platforms, simply forwarding to the countdown latch await method to perform barrier synchronization as described in this earlier video. Yet another software quality attribute we want to maximize is flexibility, which enables designs to adapt more readily in response to internal or external changes in requirements or environments, as described at this link. To achieve this quality attribute, we apply the factory method pattern, which provides an interface for creating an object but leaves the choice of the object's concrete type to a subclass, as described at this link. The ping pong program applies this pattern in several ways. For example, a variant of this pattern is used in the make ping pong threads factory method that creates the appropriate subclass of ping pong thread. Depending on a runtime option that can be configured by the user, a semaphore based ping pong thread object or a condition object based ping pong thread object is created without affecting the implementation of the play ping pong algorithm that uses the object returned by the make ping pong threads factory method. The ping pong program also applies this pattern to the platform strategy factory that creates the appropriate instance of the platform strategy subclass. In particular, depending on the settings of the Java specification vendor system property, the make platform strategy factory method in console platform strategy and Android platform strategy either create an instance of the Android platform strategy or the console platform strategy, respectively. In addition to enhancing flexibility, the factory method pattern enhances systematic reuse and portability by enabling the family of ping pong programs to vary transparently and run on different platforms without requiring any changes to the rest of the framework or application code. In summary, this video analyzed the design of a pattern-oriented framework that can support a family of related concurrent ping pong programs. In the next video, we'll customize this framework with several different Java synchronizers and use it to implement two Java threads that correctly alternate printing ping and pong to the computer console. In addition to fixing the concurrency control problems with the buggy solution we examined earlier, our framework-based solution is more portable, reusable, and extensible, since it applies the Gang of Four template method strategy and factory method patterns to factor out various platform and concurrency control mechanisms into several inheritance hierarchies, which can then be customized by applications to support different requirements and different environments. Although we present these patterns in the context of the ping pong program, they're actually broadly applicable to many types of software, both concurrent and non-concurrent, as shown in an upcoming module on Android concurrency frameworks. We'll also reuse this pattern-oriented framework to port the ping pong program to Android without changing the core ping pong algorithm or the framework software itself, which you'll program as part of an assignment later in this MOOC.